governments have been failing to fight climate change for decades. So I'm, I'm forced to say that people are used to government betraying their promises and their trust on that. Mr. Trudeau did exactly that. Mr. Guilbeault very recently did exactly that. So Mr. Legault is, one, one, is only one of many politicians that have failed systematically to, to met the, 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 the importance of the climate crisis. He's just the last example of a whole bunch of politicians who are unable to act with courage in face of that crisis. And it's, you know, we, we, we learned this week that a lot of young people in Quebec are anxious about, the, about climate change. I can't imagine how they will receive such a plan that says we're proud to have the means to meet 1% over the half of our target, which is, according to the science, an insuff insufficient target. And don't you think it's a good thing to boost the investment to help industrial players? That's the way yeah. to go? We should be making the polluters pay, not paying the polluters. It's not a bad thing to fund uh, sectors of the industry that have a, f a green future, aluminum, for example, or the battery ecosystem, or uh, biofuel industries. Those are industries that actually have a future in the transition toward a green economy. But helping bigger refineries to lower by 1% or 2% their emissions is not a, it's not a real vision. It's not a real vision for the transition. And, we, and we're not helping the workers in those industries by doing that. We're only shoveling the problem in front of us.